folks, welcome back to another video. Uh, I am currently on my way to pick up a, uh, well, a cupboard actually, and um, I thought I'd just do another video, just a quick one, um, and just talk about the theory side of things because when I spoke to you, well, there's two videos have been out now, this is the third one, and the first video I did was done around the time that I was going to do my theory. And basically, I passed my theory, and I just thought I'd, I'd talk to you about that because a lot of people are very, are very unsure about the theory. It's kind of one of the harder things that people think um, are, is a harder thing. So uh, I'm just going to talk to you about about that very briefly. And uh, in, in the video description, uh, you'll find some links to uh, some apps, some books, uh, and some videos as well that might help you. Uh, and of course, if you've got any questions, you know, hit me up. Um, I've set up some social media channels now, so you can see, uh, you can join us on Twitter, uh, which is truck underscore loads. Uh, that's the name of the channel, just in case you didn't know. And also, uh, I'm on Facebook as well, so it should be facebook.com slash truck loads. Um, and, you know, as and when required, I'll set up the other ones as well if, if we really, really need you to. But I don't know whether this is going to be popular or not. If it's not, then it's not. You know, if it is, then you know. Hopefully, then you know. My my, my main goal here is to is to help people out uh, and uh, you know try and give you an idea as to what it's like to gain your HGB license and also what it's going to be like as a truck driver as well. Um, you know, because a lot of people don't know uh, what what the job entails uh, until they do it and spend all that money and they decide they hate it, uh, which is not good, obviously. So. Uh, uh, I'm just following this car in front of me, this Honda, and it's pulling a, a, a rib, uh, like a, a little tiny dinghy, inflatable dinghy, and God, it's going slow. Um, <laughs> so I might have to get around him in a minute, but we'll, we'll stay behind it for now. Um, so yeah, the theory. Um, what's it all about? So there's three parts to your theory. You've got your multiple choice, which if you've done your car lessons already, uh, is very much the same thing. Um, I think there's about 100 questions, and just everything related to uh, driving a truck and everything not related to driving a truck. Um, so, you know, the example of questions are, uh, you know, your, your, your bridge uh, limits, your height limits, your weight limits, um, what you do, uh, you know, in certain circumstances like emergency situations or, you know, uh, if you had a fire and engine compartment, what would you do, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, you know, practice your theory as much as you can. Um, I did pass my first time. I can't remember what marks I got, but I think it was six wrong or something like that. I can't remember. Um, but they have a perception. This is a bit of a, a misconception about uh, this part of the theory test because, in my opinion, the theory test is exactly the same as a car one, which is kind of bizarre. I was really thinking it was going to be. Um, you know, geared towards HGVs and trucks and stuff. So, you know, things like your separation distances, you spot a hazard, you know, a car pulling out of a slip road or a lay-by or something like that. Um, and obviously, you know, you need to adjust your um, your driving to suit that particular scenario. But it's not. <laughs> it's literally just uh, the same as a car one. So if you've done that already, you should be fine. Um, I know I was. Uh, the only word of warning I will say though is that they did um, they, they've now started doing the uh, the CGI ones, which I know caught a lot of people out. Um, I know Deddy uh, it caught him out, to be honest. So uh, yeah, so I mean they are literally the same video, same content, um, but they are CGI. I was making sure me me shake doesn't fall over because uh, I'm <laughs> I'm currently on the uh, Slim and Well shakes. Get rid of me uh, stereotypical lorry driver look at the moment with me tummy. <laughs> So, yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. Um, but yeah, the uh, the hazard perception. Don't worry about it. That's fine. If you've done your car one, you can do that one. Easy peasy. Um, and then when it comes to the last one, which is your case studies. Um, so, I mean, what I would recommend, and, and this is kind of what I did as well, was I booked me. Uh, me uh, multiple choice I had a brain fart then multiple choice and you had a perception I booked them together 
uh, and you will sit those one after the other. So um, just like your car ones, so you, you know you sit those back to back in the same session. Uh, the case studies is considered a separate test. So what you'll be doing is you'll have to, if you want to do it on the same day, you'll have to try and put the times very, very close together. Um, I had about an hour in between mine. So uh, uh, I, I did mine at Lowestoft uh, and, and actually me and my wife went and did, because she's doing her theory again, because hers ran out, so she had to do it again. Um, so she uh, she did her car test and because uh, they're, they're out together. Uh, so then I did mine and then she, she had to wait for me to do my uh, case studies. So uh, the case studies is still theory based. Um, yeah, I think I can't remember how many case studies you get. I think you get seven or eight case studies. You get about an hour and 20 minutes to do it. Uh, and there's a hundred questions. So, um, and you have to answer these. Uh, I, actually, I think there's, I can't remember. I watched Daddy's, um, I watched Daddy's one the other day, just for a laugh. And uh, I think there's there's like six modules with 15 questions on each, so something like that. Anyway, I'm terrible at remembering things. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so you have to answer these uh, th these questions based around the scenario. So you read out the description, and then essentially you, all you need to do is just answer the questions. I mean, it's just theory based. Um, the only thing I would say about those is make sure you read the description in full because they will catch you out. Um, things like, uh, you know, he, uh, Bob started at, you know, two o'clock uh, in the morning and didn't finish till whatever time. Um, how long has he got left to drive, on his driving time for that week, you know, stuff like that. So uh, yeah, make sure you read the descriptions and, um, you know, because they, they will catch you out on that one. Uh, there's a lot of resources around to help you with your theory. Um, can't see traffic light anyway. Um, and uh, I'm going to I'm going to try and stop saying um. I watched my video back, video two, and God, I was saying um a lot. So I'm going to try and stop that. If I if I do say it, mention it in the comments. Tell me off. Lots of different resources to help you with your theory. I will post them in the description, like I said to you before. There's lots of books. I use I actually use uh, an app, um, an Android app that I had. That was that was a free version. They do do a paid version, but that was brilliant. I used that, and that got me through my theory. I've also got the um, I think it's DVSA DVSA handbook or something, the theory test handbook. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll find it. I'll find it up, and I'll put a link in the description so that you can see. Uh, and get it for yourself. It was about a tenner on Amazon, something like that. So get yourself that, because that, that contains everything. Uh, your driving times, weight limits, um, pollution, economy, you name it, it's in there. And I will take that with me when I'm trucking as well, so I don't forget. So uh, yeah, grab yourself one of those. And then the uh, the other bits and bobs you can get are probably, oh, I don't know, maybe, I mean, there's, there's there's so many of them about. I mean, watch watch some videos as well. Uh, watch some videos of people going through their theory. I mentioned Deddy. Uh, there's some other guys that have done it as well. Um, they will give you an insight as to what it's like to do your theory tests. But don't worry about it. I mean, do your revision. Be smart. Don't just go in thinking you're going to know it all because you, trust me, you won't. I there's a lot of stuff I've learned uh, using these apps and books and stuff. Uh, and also watch people online. Um, you know, just get a feel for it. Uh, do some mock tests. Your training provider, if you've picked one already, but you've, you've yet to do your theory, ask them because they will probably have some uh, material that you can go through and revise. So make sure uh, you, you do ask them because you want to make you, you know you don't want to pay twice for your theory test. It's just pointless. Do your revision now. Be smart about it and. Uh, make sure that you um, you do it first time and get it right because trust me you'll feel much better about it as well um, like I said I passed my th first time um, dead chuffed about it I did that on the 31st of July last year um, so uh, you know next next thing up is to do your mod 4 I believe which is your CPC um, demonstration I will go through uh, with a video and do that as well but I haven't done that yet 
um, because obviously I'm doing that with my my new, my new company uh, that give me a job. So um, yeah, uh, I haven't got much more to say really, to be honest, because I'm not too far away from my destination now. Uh, I'm just picking up a cupboard for uh, uh, for us. It's a nice oak jobby. So um, yeah. Any questions about the theory? Let me know. All right. Um, I'm here to give you my experience on my journey to get my class two. So any questions, if you're not done your theory yet, or if you haven't done your theory yet, um, ask me some questions. I'm more than happy to help out. It's not an easy thing to do. It is costly um, to do the whole thing. The theory, the theory tests are pretty cheap, but the training is quite, quite expensive. So um, make sure you want to make, you know, you want to do this. Um, and yeah, just have fun with it. You know, the important thing is if you don't enjoy it, or you don't think you'll enjoy it, don't do it. Do something else. You know. I actually came from an IT background. Um, I used to fix PCs and uh, look after people's websites and servers and stuff. And yeah, I enjoy IT, you know, but um, I wanted to change. I was stuck indoors, getting fat, sat down in a chair all day, uh, talking to grumpy customers, shut up. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to get out. Get out, do, uh, you know, see, see the world a little bit. And um, let's be honest, who wouldn't want to drive a truck, eh? <laughs> Anyway, thank you very much for uh, listening to me waffle on for a bit, and I will check you out in the next video. So, uh, yeah, see you later.